What's up YouTube? Coming to you live from the workshop today. Got another how-to video for you guys. Uh, one of the things that a lot of people really negate when it comes to their bass boats is maintenance. Uh, a lot of people don't fix stuff until it's broke and then want to complain about it because they didn't take care of it uh, from the get-go. But uh, we're going to get into this. It's going to be power pole maintenance again today. Uh, you guys saw you know, way back when when I did the pumps. Today, we are going to build rebuild one of these. Um, with power poles, you know, every 100 or so cycles, you guys want to go through and you know, tighten these bolts because they, you know, the bushings start wearing out, the bolts start getting loose, and you get that wobble. As you can see, this one's pretty bad. I've had this pole for quite some time and I've never changed the bushing on it. Uh, they're to the point now that I can't tighten them, tighten them anymore, so it just wobbles. So we're gonna replace all the bolts, all the bushings, and get this thing nice and tight. So, without further ado, you got these big old boxes, not boxes, packets. You got these big old packets, bolts and bushings that come in to redo these guys. And you got the instruction sheet here. You're gonna need a 7 16 inch wrench, a half inch, a 9 16 wrench, and the according sockets. You're gonna need a ratchet, a 3 inch drill bit, and an electric drill. I'm going to go through and lay all of this stuff out just to make sure that we have everything that's uh, listed here. And then we're going to start pulling these poles apart. Alright guys, we've got everything laid out. We're going to start with the two knuckle sections. There's our bolts, bushings, and washers there. And there's everything else. And try to take this piece by piece so we know exactly what goes where. Ooh, yeah, you can tell them things are ate up. Yep, I'm like, oh yeah, bush on that side, that thing's all popped off and broke. This is all not too terrible, but let's wall it out a little bit. If you look at these, it should have these black rings on there, and that one's completely gone. Let's pop that old one out. Not terrible, I've never worn it a little bit. Before I pull this top one out, I'll show you guys the bolt head, you got your washer, you got your plastic bushing that fits up inside of there. And then once you get in between here, there's two more bushings that should be in there that face opposite of each other. Pulls up, picks up the slack. Yeah, you can see it on this one. The, this one's good, but that part has broke off of that bushing that's on the inside that I showed you guys. So pull that off. And here's what I was talking about. So we'll let that sit. So you've got the one that faces this way. Let that guy fall. Which should look like this. Faces out. And then the flat part of each butts up against the other one. And as you can see, there's another one that sits just inside there that faces the opposite direction. Let's see if we can get that one to come out. There we go. See, and that one comes out. That one's still good. But we've got new ones, so we're changing it all. That's the knuckle. This is the part that holds your spike. 
Each one of those has those bushings in there. We're gonna pop all of those out and we're gonna change all of them. We don't need those. So yeah, there it is. Pop that out. Eventually we'll get to these ones, but we'll save that for last since that's a real easy part. All right, we've got all of that out. I got one bolt just tent put in just to hold this up because I'm gonna take this piece completely off. I'm gonna disconnect it here at the ram and disconnect it there at the base. Uh, when I got this pole, this pole came on an old boat that I had and whoever had this before me backed this corner into something hard and smashed it. So we're gonna take this off and straighten it back up. All right, let's disconnect it from the ram here. This one will be pretty simple. See, you've got those pl black plastic sleeves in here. These are your spacers for the ram. We've got new ones here. We're just going to match them up. It's going to be the small one and the long one. This one also has those bushings in it as well. Ooh, yeah, that bolt's bent. <laughs> oh man. Look at whoops. Look at that. <laughs> Talking about needing a change. The bushings were ate up, the bolts bent. Wow. That's the short bushing. The long one, that washer, and then the plastic sleeve. Uh, is it still in there? Nope, that plastic sleeve came out. So, man, that was way overdue. Holy crap. Alrighty. That's disconnected. Dangling. We'll just leave that guy how it is and then pop it off down the bottom. This down here should be the exact same thing as the top. Oh, these are the bigger ones. So the rest of those are halves. These ones are gonna be our 9 16th bolts and sockets down there. All right, this one's out. Washer. bolt feels like it might be yeah it's not too too terrible this is going to be just like the top setup with a bushing setup so you got your washer and small bushing on the outside and i'm sure you guys can see that but you got your two bigger bushings on the inside there there is a uh plastic sleeve that goes in these down on the bottom that's why this one doesn't want to come out as easy that's where that drill comes into play we're going to have to, to drill it out there's some of our bushings that just fell out there's the others you can kind of see it in there Is it down there? Uh, we'll look in a little bit and see. I can't really, I can't really tell. Doesn't look like there's anything in there at all, actually. But we're gonna find out after we get that U channel unbent. All right, 
Well, we're gonna need a new U channel. This thing is uh, all cattywampus. This is from the damage from the previous owner. As you can see, it's split there. It's all jacked up and flat. So we got it as straight as we could. So we're gonna get this thing put back together and eventually order a new U channel for this thing. So we're gonna take it apart. We're gonna put it together just like we took it apart. You're gonna have your bolt, washer, bushing that goes in on this side. That bushing is gonna fit right in that hole right there. And then you're gonna take these, and these are gonna these bushings will go on the inside. One will go on the inside there, and one will fit on the inside there. And those will butt up against each other just like that as the bolts pass through them. And then you'll have two more on that side. And we'll slide it all we'll slide it all through. This one, it mentions that um, that clear tube that goes through here, but that one doesn't apply to my to my poles. All right. <clears throat> in a little too far we gotta get a punch and get those bushings in this side we should have slid that one in first big tools There we go. And get the bushing in on this side. The nut and washer on. Boom, boom. Hand tighten that for now. And that's what it'll look like, guys. You got the washer and small bushing on that side. You got the two big bushings with the flat side up against each other on these and these sides. And then you've got the small bushing, washer, and nut on this side. And once we tighten it up, be good to go. Now we're going to take the top one off and then take these off for the actuator here. Uh, one of the one things you do want to look at is you, if your actuator is side loaded or top loaded. This actuator here is top loaded, but it has the bushings for a side loaded uh actuator which shifts it one way or the other to give it space uh this one's pretty centered so we could either go back with the the side loaded setup or go with a top loaded setup which is just the two middle size bushings which will center the actuator no big deal if you look at this one this one top loaded and then it has both medium bushings on this side so the actuator is centered inside the u-channel uh, just pay attention when you're putting these back together to know which one you have because else once you put this up or down if you have a side loaded actuator and have the wrong bushing setups in here it'll shear that guy off and then you'll be uh in hot water <laughs> all right next we're going to do the actuator in the top while we've got the bottom half down already loosened the screw here goes our washer set that up here so we don't lose anything this is a pretty simple straightforward process with how everything lines up see that bushing's pretty ate up So 
So then you got those black spacers there. That bushing's definitely ate up. And that bolt's bent as well. I'm going to let that lay in there. Those are those black bushings I was talking about. Side load it. It's your bolt, which this bolt's bent. These guys were well overdue for a makeover. That's all she wrote. I'm gonna grab the new bolt set up and bushings and I could side, I could uh, top load this one with the two medium bushings. But I'm gonna put it back like it was and be done with it. All right, we got our setup going here. I'm gonna do the small one on the inside. Make sure when you put these back up that those hydraulic lines are in the top of the channel behind the bolt. Put that in. Get this long one in here. It's going to be a little tricky to do and get this all on camera for you guys at the same time. Almost got it. There we go. All right, just like that. Ooh. Got it sticking out on this side here. You're going to take your bushing. Make sure that fits down inside the frame. Just wiggle the actuator a little bit and it'll pop right in. Washer and the nut. All right, that's done. So all we've got to do now, change this bottom bolt here and then add all the bushings and everything, tighten everything back up and we will be done. These ones are, this top one's definitely wore out here. Is there a washer? Pop those bushings out. Pop those bushings out and then we'll get the new ones put back in. And we will be cooking with fire. Just gonna prop that there so it doesn't fall. All in all, these ones weren't terrible, but you can definitely tell they were getting ate up. All right, we got the new bolt and bushing through that side. Put the other one in here. It's washer. And the nut. Alright, so those are changed out. Those are changed out. Those are changed out. We're going to bring this back up. Put those ones in. And get this all bolted back up. 
Guess we can go ahead and finish the top part here. The knuckle side. So. We're gonna take those, push them in. These ones will stay in pretty good. When you're laying these out, you'll notice that there's, what is it? One, two, three, four different sizes of these. This one must have a piece in it. You just wanna make sure that you're getting the, the right piece for what you're using. No, nope, that one's clean. There we go. And one more. Alright, so just like down at the bottom, you'll have the side that we just put in, and you'll have another one that butts straight up against that one, that will go on the back side of the bracket there. And then when you push the bolt through, you'll have a little one and a washer that will have to go on there as well. So, put those on. Those ones don't like to stay in the metal mount very good. So you gotta hold those ones while you slide them in. that lined up on the other side all right just that easy and then we'll put the bushing washer and nut in on this side it's right on in there Snug that one, hands tight, and then we'll do the bottom part. So one of the things you'll notice is that uh, there are many different versions and years of these power pull models. So you're gonna get a lot of extra pieces in this that won't pertain to your power pull. Uh, like I have here, like a lot of that stuff, I'm not gonna use because it's for higher year or lower year or smaller power poles. <sighs> All right, we got those bushings lined back up in there. Uh, it should go without saying that if you side load it with a small one here and a large one here, it should be the same there on the back side. Small one, large one. You do a middle, medium, medium, make sure they're the same or you're gonna have binding issues. Ugh, let's go side here. Oh, that old bushing stayed in this side. Pop that one out. Drop the new one in. Washer. Nut. All right, so the last one we got to do is just the bottom knuckle here, and uh, we'll be good to tighten everything up and function chip. Well, after we change the spike ones, the spike ones really don't need to be changed, but whatever. Put 
those ones in. This would be a lot easier to do with two people, but it's definitely doable with one person. but not least Ugh. all right everything's changed We just need to tighten it all back up. All right, it's done. The only thing is, because this U channel's all bent, see it's got that little gap here. So it still moves a little bit, but nowhere near as bad as it was. So once we get a new U-channel put in on this, uh, this thing will be good as new. Alright guys, that pole is all done. It's the old hardware. Bent bolts. These are both, both of these were on the actuator. And both of those were bent. Now some of those bushings, them things were all ate up. But like I said earlier, they do include all the parts for multiple different types of poles so you will have extra pieces left over don't try to fit them where they do not belong all right and that is a wrap for me i'm only doing the one because the uh, other pole it only has a tiny bit of wobble in it so not quite ready to change those ones yet i'm gonna let those bushings wear out a little bit more and then in the meantime when uh, power pole opens back up we're gonna order a new u-channel so this thing is super tight and we won't have any wobble after we replace this old U-channel.